this is Yami Day, aka The Most May, coming to you live and on full alert. So I want to let you know something. I am back like I never left, okay? So I started making my YouTube videos in September. I wanted to do a 30-day challenge to get the ball rolling to do the thing that I said that I wanted to do considering a lot of times I say I want to do stuff and then I never follow through with them or procrastination kicks in, laziness, discouragement, all of the above. Um, so it's kind of ironic because I'm making this video, it is December, I am making this video as the intro to, to start off on day 14 of uh, my Set It Off September videos. So the reason why I'm doing that is because your girl had a moment, okay? I fell off. The reason why I fell off isn't because I stopped making videos. I kept making videos all the way to the end of the 30 day challenge, but what ended up happening was I set too high of intentions and what that ended up doing was pretty much in layman's terms, I just created a goal that was too big and it wasn't a smart goal. I think that's the most simplest way I could say it. A smart goal is specific, measurable, attainable, I think reliable. I don't know if that's the right one, but then the T is timely. So anyway, the point is I created this goal of initially not going crazy, not doing anything too crazy, but just making videos as long as I was going out and stepping out and just making a video. Well, I got ahead of myself and then I was like, I'm gonna start editing. And then I got all fancy and started making videos that were crazy long and I just didn't have the time, nor did I have um, pretty much the bandwidth of knowledge to actually fully create these visual videos so i started out doing that but then it got overwhelming so this is the intro to day 14 because i am pressing reset so that's why i said i'm back like i never left it's december i am the theme queen set it off september was for september I didn't video in November, but November was no excuse November. And this December is Dedication December. And Dedication December is really about you just dedicating time to yourself, loving yourself. I actually ended up making a video about that, which I'll post at some point. But you know what I decided at the end of the day? I decided that why should I be creating new content when I never actually posted the videos that I should have posted so anyway without further ado this is me saying hey guys I'm back and again I'm back like I never left we're starting here right now in real time it's December but this video that you're gonna watch is day 14 out of my set it off September challenge to do that thing that I said I wanted to do which was create YouTube videos something else that I wanted to say was Initially, I was trying so hard to figure out what my niche was, where I was going to go, but I decided, you know what, in this video, I'm going to kind of talk about my purpose, but in general, I realized that I kind of want this specific channel to just be about um, me going on this journey called life, and I want... I want you guys to come with me as I journey on this journey called life. I want to bring you guys good news as I bring myself good news and I want to build better habits with you. So join me friend. All right. So just to let you know one more time, this is going to be day 14 out of my set it off September challenge. So we we're taking it back. All right. Oh yeah. Before. No, that's it. Yeah. Bye. Hey everyone, this is Iyami Day, aka The Most May, coming to you live and on full alert. Today is day 14 out of my 30 day journey of creating my YouTube channel and my YouTube videos. I'm super excited. I've been doing so much exploring the YouTube world, aka exploring voiceovers, 
while doing them, exploring editing, and exploring creating content in general. But like I said, this 30 days is not necessarily about all of those things. Those are just bonuses. It's really been about me being consistent and committed to the journey of doing what I said I wanted to do. So, so the main purpose of these videos is really about building better habits. Why? Because the truth is I am on a personal journey to build better habits and live a full and whole life. That's really what I want to do. I want to become more self-aware. I want to establish wholeness in my life. Understanding that wholeness is never arriving to a destination point because the journey is non-stop, but it is getting to a place where I understand what I want, who I am, what my beliefs are, where I want to go, and the kind of person that I want to be and how I want to live my life. That is the journey of wholeness that is truthfully never ending until the day that we leave this green earth. So that's just, I think I said two things, self-awareness, wholeness, and human connection is the third one. That's why it's you and me, friend. Ding, ding, ding. This is human connection, especially in terms of COVID and everything going on right now. It's really hard to connect the way that we used to, but I truthfully believe that COVID has showed us that it's really important to care about the things that matter to us, family, our loved ones, the time that we have, being present in the moments. It's the small things. I feel like in the midst of COVID causing mass chaos and literally being a pandemic, it has allowed so many of us to get the bigger picture about our lives and hone in on that. So in general, that's what COVID did, but in general with my life, I want to become more self-aware. I want to have a whole life and have wholeness within my life. Again, not meaning that I'm gonna arrive, but just recognizing that I am a whole person, even in my brokenness or imperfectness, that's probably not a word, even with my imperfection, ooh, fixed it. But yeah, and then the last is human connection. The truth is, I feel like the truth is is one of my favorite words um, or slogans to use, but I, I'm going to say it again. I didn't want to, but the truth is in this world, we're all serving someone. We're all serving another human being. We go to our jobs every day and we're providing a service to someone. Every single thing that we do in our lives is connected to another human being and sometimes we get so caught up in our lives with the ebbs and flows the highs and the lows and just the things that we're pursuing and we're just going and going that we kind of take the focus away from the big picture of all of us and focus on just us which is natural it happens but i kind of want to get back to that place where i recognize that everyone is connected in one way or another so that's why I'm creating these videos. I feel like I finally honed into it. I'm, I've, I've, I'm sorry, I hate that I do that, but I already knew that that's, those are the things that I care about most in my life. And these videos are just giving me an opportunity to really recognize that and hone in on that. So with that being said, the full scope of why I brought all that up is because I want to bring good news and build better habits in my life and in your life. So one of the big ways that I'm trying to do that right now in my life is through my health mentally and also physically. So, so today I'm going to make avocado toast, nothing fancy. So I'm going to start off with um, these avocado rolls. I said avocado rolls. I'm still stuck on the egg rolls I made a couple videos ago, but I'm gonna whip out the avocado to make avocado toast. There we go. So I'm gonna leave this panned out. Normally you see me down here, but I kinda wanna give my legs a breather so you can see what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna wash my hands and then get it going.
I hope that you enjoyed watching me make my avocado toast and then I randomly decided to make this super tasty Tommy superfoods asparagus and kale with green chickpea little side I wasn't expecting to do that but when I saw my avocado toast on that big plate I thought my avocado toast was lonely so I wanted to add something else this is really actually very tasty like i said it's asparagus and kale with green chickpeas um red bell peppers with apple cider vinegar when i saw when i read the ingredients and saw this i realized that this is something that i could make myself so uh, on a on me going through this journey of figuring things out and building better habits and being a pretend chef I think things like this is are is really good to recognize. The reason why it's really good to recognize is because I can see what I can do and then I can also utilize these on days when I just don't have the time. So yeah, it's low sodium, it's really tasty, it has handcrafted blended seasoning, that pimple I told you about before has protruded on itself <laughs> but yeah this is really good again let me show you I know you guys saw when I had that episode something else that I recognize when putting frozen foods on a skillet is that number one that that skillet that I picked was too large number two is I want I wanted to and should have Pick the skillet that has a cover because then instead of trying to fight the frozen the frozen meal or whatever it is I could just put the cover on top allow it to simmer for two minutes and then go back take the cover off and then start to to like mend it and and use my processing my thoughts and use my my spatula or spoon so the reason why I decided to add these greens are because I really want to incorporate more greens in my diet I really do and I haven't been enough so that's something that I want to do and that's something that I'm working towards so bon appetit pretend chef 101 and yummy day aka the key holder of a life my own and you're here with me we're on this journey together of bringing good news i'm bringing you the good news with this information and stuff like this but we're on this journey together to build better habits thanks for watching mm.